Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome out. Oh, that hurt. Ow. Ah, <sighs> welcome back to the wonderful world of Hermits and Crafting. We're clearly here in uh, Hermit Lands, as you can see by crashing into the sign. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we are here to make a brand new game. That is right. We have our hide and seek game, which is done, which is really cool. And we've played it a few times and I am very pleased with the way everything came out in this game. But what I want to do now is I want to make a game, a game that will help hermits become a little bit more wealthy. We have been told we have a lot of diamonds. We've been even told we have an obscene amount of diamonds, but today we're gonna give back to the Hermits by making a game that will make some rich and some go splat. It might be a little evil to think about how fun it's gonna to be to watch Hermits chasing diamonds while going splat in our new game, but before we get to that, I wanted to check out this brand new little shopping area that's popped up outside or inside the gates of Hermit Land, and this appears to be an architect thing, so welcome to Sahar Eats, an architect company. Oh, okay. So two diamonds, or is it one diamond? Oh, wow, two stacks for a diamond. That, that's actually a really good deal. Hmm, anyway, this gives me an idea for myself. Now, who wants to go all the way to the shopping district to get their premium redstone supplies for their mini games? No, you want to have that local. So my idea here is to build a little redstone cherry shop like right here for the hermits to get all their redstone supplies and not have to travel all the way to the shopping district. That is a moneymaker. Beautiful little horse roaming the fields, playing in the flowers. Little does he know that there is 10 mutant horses on the other side of the wall wanting to eat him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all down there. <laughs> they want that little fella. Look at him. He's over there getting a little grass, getting a little bit to drink. On the other end, these guys are just thinking about eating him. <laughs> I spent about 10 minutes flying through this whole area looking at all the incredible things the hermits are doing here, which just shows how amazing this group is and how creative they are when their minds are like set on something like this to like build out a gaming district together and shows like the strength of the community. Oh, I love every minute of it. But what we need to do now is find a spot for my game. Mostly it's gonna be in the air, but we need a place to go splat on. Finally, after an hour of looking for a perfect place to build today, I have found it on the other side of this road right here. Now we're not gonna need a lot of room to build today because most of it's gonna take place way up at build height, but we're gonna need a nice flat place here at water level. So that is about as low as we can get here. So we have a lot of room from build height to the ground to work with. And I think this will be absolutely perfect because what we're gonna build up in the air will fit in really well with Area 77. The only problem is that um, I'm gonna have to do redstone and that scares me. So let's head back to Hermit Island, get some supplies and think about this redstone. I'll admit it, nothing fast ever happens around here on this channel. <laughs> I am the slowest person at getting anything done. That's why I'm still using this storage room now that we have our fancy new one. But I did come in here and I did clear out all of the chest monsters, so at least that's organized. And then we can easily now move things over to the new one. But anyway, here's our project chest. As you can see, we have a whole lot of quartz and we need to turn these into smooth quartz for our airplane build. If we move over here, we need to get wool and that'll be for our parachutes and redstone supplies. So all the mechanisms are gonna work for our game and we're gonna need some plain elytra. So we have a whole, whole lot more stuff to find. So I took a little break, logged off, played with Jelly for a moment and I got a message from Iskol that my order is ready and to meet him on the giant rainbow here. So let's pack up our diamonds and meet Dorothy. Woohoo, hi Iskol. <laughs> I love that. I love the IKEA thing you did. Good job, man. Good job. Oh, it was good. It was enjoyable. You know what? I think my chicken needs a cat, but we're not here for cats. We're here for here bargains for and deals, right? Who's Dorothy? Wizard of Oz. Ah, never saw the movie. Not a nerd. How man, dare you music. not watch this classic cinema masterpiece? I much rather do a lot of other things. Play Minecraft. <sighs> Um, drive a car, eat <laughs> dinner, clean my house, clean my toilet. Of, of clean all things, clean the, the toilet and no, you don't want to no, watch okay. this delightful movie. Uh, I, I, I'll watch it. I'll, Thank I'll you. watch it. I want a photo Listen, of you, you watching it. We need evidence oh that you have watched The Wizard of Oz. Anyway. That's some next level evidence. Anyway, 
I, a little while ago, you ordered, or you asked me to buy a stack of Schalke boxes mm -hmm. for three diamonds a piece, 192 diamonds. 192, yes. Which is super cheap. Super yeah, cheap, yeah. by the way. Teach their own. Eight diamonds each. I was thinking today is your lucky day <gasps> because I made sure to get you three stacks of Schalke boxes. I mean, you, if you, you do know. wish upon a rainbow, the magic will happen. <laughs> I'm here to make you an offer you can't resist. Uh -huh. I've already made you an amazing offer of one stack of Schalke boxes for 192 diamonds. Yeah. I am going to offer you three stacks of Schalke boxes for, uh, uh hold. <clears throat> Math times with Isco. The numbers are crunching. The calculators are spinning. The receipts are flowing. 192 plus 192 <laughs> is 384. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, I yes. just some quick, just some quick head, head calculations there. Mm -hmm. I am going to offer you three stacks of Schalke boxes. You will never, ever need Schalke box again. Ooh. For the amazing sum of 500 <laughs> diamonds. 500 diamonds? <laughs> Old? Wait, 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 wait. Before uh, you judge the price, let me do yeah. the math for you. That is 2.6 diamonds per Schalke box. That's not bad, actually. That really isn't. All right. Um, just, just the, how, how many diamonds is that again? How many stacks? <laughs> 7 <laughs> point eight stacks. This has to be the biggest transaction in Hermit history. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, oh, wait, wait. it is. The, the, the last stack, the point eight stack. So it's seven stacks and then 52 diamonds. Oh, and then another stack? What? 7.8 stacks. Okay. Would so, you like that in blocks, one, sir? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And then how many was the other one here again? 52. 51. Okay. All right. When you watch Wizard of Oz, you can come and get your other diamond. Okay. Okay. That's a deal. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, so is this, does this mean you want to buy the, these? I paid you, didn't I? I'm, I'm, yes, yes. And you get to keep the Schalke box. Okay. Thank I thought you, for, I thought you were going to do some kind of mafia intimidation. You're like, I give you all my diamonds. <laughs> and you're like, so did you actually want to buy these things? You know that no, I... No, no, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm the good guy, right? I'm uh -huh. the good guy. Okay. All you need for your Schalke box now is some sort of protection so that no one comes around. And, and for that, I have Iskal Security Services. Ooh, I love 64 diamonds services. a week. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll make you stay. No, I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I would be terrible as a mafioso. Absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I got. I feel like I may have got ripped off, but I'm happy. It's all the same. Two point six diamonds per box. You did not get ripped off, dude. Okay, just, viewers. Yeah. Viewers, crunch the numbers. Let us know if I got ripped off or not. But either way, I'm happy that I don't have to go to the end because those Endermen, Iskel. Whew. Okay, well, I, I really appreciate this car, and mm -hmm. uh, if you ever run out, which will not happen because you have 500, or you have, I don't know how many, <laughs> many Schalke boxes, let's not do more, but 192 Schalke boxes, then uh, you know where to find me. All right, you'll get your other diamond when you watch Wizard of Oz with photo evidence. How could somebody live their life by not watching The Wizard of Oz? How is that possible? Anyway, we're here at the furnace. We need to smelt down our quartz. And after that, we'll get the wool and we'll be all set to work on Diamond Drop. Back at Hermit Land with our resources in hand, it is time to start working on our game. Now, the location that we picked is a little bit away from Hermit Land, which is a bit of a disadvantage. But the advantage of this area is that it is flat and we have all the room that we need to complete this build with the added bonus of being completely aligned with area 77 behind these trees, which will be perfect for our build this weekend there, which is going to be amazing, that is. Anyway, so we've got our resources here, and I just realized we forgot the hoppers. Dang it. <laughs> we need those hoppers. It's critical to maintain my diamond supply. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to build an aircraft at build height. That aircraft will then have a way for you to be dropped out of. And as you're free falling to the ground, you try to maneuver yourself as best you can to grab as many diamonds that are free falling with you before you hit the ground. So you'd want to activate your elytra in the nick of time to avoid splatting and losing all of those diamonds. So I think this will be a really fun game. And it's something that I do by myself for fun, like drop an item and try to catch it in midair. <laughs> 
I literally do that all the time. And why not make a game of it? I think it'll be really cool. So we need to clear the area. We need to terraform it up a bit and then start thinking of a plane design. And I'm thinking a KC-130 would be perfect. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves a gigantic crater in the ground which will be perfect for our drop game so what i want to do now is i do want to add some plant life maybe some broken trees some stumps things along those lines where the ground has all been torn up but we can work on that later what we need to do is wow that was a little bit of lag there uh, we need to find the center of the crater and then from that we will find where we're going to put our plane up in the air and then once the center has been established and the plane has been built then we can take all of our hoppers and set that out into a target down at the bottom so you know get the blues the reds the yellows things like that i think will make it look like a traditional target like an archery range and i think that'll be really sweet so yeah hmm i think we need to oh jeez oh my gosh where in the world did that Crazy Joe Hills of uh, Nashville, Tennessee come from. Wow, that... Whew. I don't know why, but I didn't think he was online. <laughs> I've been so fixated with this, Joe. <laughs> you freaked me out. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'll meet you up in the sky. After Joe Hill scared the living scars out of me, I got our scaffolding all built up and ready to go. So we have room now to reach the build height and start working on our plane. Now our plane is going to be designed after the KC-130 cargo planes. Those are kind of those iconic, you know, doors on the back that are for cargo or skydiving. So I think that'll fit really well with a theme of our game. Also, it's a military style aircraft, so it will be heading over to Area 77. So kind of a win-win on all of the design fronts so that's a good thing now the central column here is where the trap doors are going to be and then once the time has elapsed so the diamonds will go and then this door will release and you will free fall straight down trying to collect as many of those diamonds as you can before activating your parachute slash elytra <laughs> so that up there guys is 256 that is build height i tell that to myself every day to remember <laughs> We won't forget. Anyway, I think this will be really, really cool. So let's hit super fast build mode and build ourselves one amazing plane. super fast build mode and look at that super awesome plane that we've got built now I think it's looking fairly convincing as a cargo plane like I'm, I'm generally happy with it these are a huge struggle for me to build and the reason being is that I'm just not great at building vehicles like sailing ships we've talked about that in prior episodes and I guess it comes down to planes also but I hopefully have got something now that looks Fairly convincing. I like the props. I like the back here where you can just shoot right into the plane. And if you have any suggestions on how to make this better, please let me know in the comments or on Twitter. I know you guys can build. I see what you do. You send me screenshots um, on Discord and Twitter. And of course, now on the Patreon server, you guys are amazing. So 
I know you could probably help me spruce this up a little bit, but anyway, how you enter the game is through the cargo door and you walk across here and I'm not exactly sure how everything's going to go because we have a decent amount of redstone we need to pack into here. Um, and well, that's going to be a bit of a struggle. <laughs> But in the end, this is where you're going to look straight down and then diamonds are going to drop down. We'll use carrots as diamonds and then we'll drop and we're going to try to capture those as we go along. And I think that'll be really fun. <laughs> oh, well, that's going to be the trick of the game is uh, activate your elytra in time before you go splat, of course. All right, we got everything picked back up. Let's head back into the plane here. And what I think we can do to reclaim, what in the world? That was uh, interesting. I guess we turned this into a runway. Anyway, um, I think we can reclaim a little bit of height here. So that's gonna really help us when it comes to packing in the redstone. And I'm looking around to see if there's, okay, so there's some room here. So what my thought process is that uh, you're gonna walk in here, probably walk up at least two additional blocks. Well, I guess that's all the blocks I have, but you'll be like two blocks upwards and then walk across here and then stand at the hole and there'll be a trap door. You'll push a button. Diamonds are gonna flow out of the hoppers or not hoppers, dispensers. And then the door will open. And then from that, then you kind of fly through here and try to grab as much as you can. Okay, whew, my Elytra caught that time. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna try to hit this redstone here. So wish me luck. The dispensers are now installed on the bottom of the plane so Diamond Drop just got a little closer to dropping them diamonds and if we land here in the cargo hold I'll explain why I went with dispensers over droppers is that they dispense the item so it actually reaches the ground faster than a dropper at least I did in my testing and that makes it so that we don't have to have as many delayed repeaters so that saves on space in the interior and as you can see we're slowly getting this place rigged up and i mean come on look at me with all this redstone down here looking super fancy i mean all i do is just make trees and uh yeah i've got some redstone doing its thing i mean i've been inhaling redstone this entire season trying to sell it so maybe some uh, redstone skills are starting to come out no actually not at all you guys are just shaking your head probably looking at this. <laughs> so you can see that each one of the dispensers will hopefully eventually be on a system where they are on different delays and things along those lines. We'll also need a separate um, signal that will go to the trapdoor to release once each and every one of the dispensers has fired. So we'll have to work that out. Maybe another row of redstone going across here and then connecting down like that. So hopefully that works out i mean you know hopefully somebody could help me if it doesn't so i made a thing do a thing with some redstone and i'm quite happy about it so we got to take a look at our button that makes all the magic happen watch this watch this bam that's right we are making some super awesome progress seriously i'm just happy the redstone lit up so what we need to do is start adding delays and things like that and then we'll start putting some items in the droppers and then trace the drop patterns they have so when we do the hopper array down at the bottom we don't lose any of our precious diamonds below but I'm so happy we got some lights to light up. I'll admit it does look a little crazy but it's actually working so let's push the button for the very first time and see if we could catch some dirt blocks because I'm not gonna use real blocks. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it worked. Oh, this is amazing. But I don't see any of the dirt blocks and let's catch our elytra so we don't die. And okay, hmm. Now I took down all the scaffolding so I don't know if it actually fired the dispensers or not. <laughs> so I'm gonna need to clean up all the scaffolding dirt and then try it again. Been spending quite a bit of time trialing and airing the design. Also cleaned up the interior here, so it's a little bit more presentable. But let's go down here into the maintenance area. And I have been trying to fit in more dispensers and it has been quite a puzzle to do that. So we have three on the front, three on the back, and then two on the flanks. Now, I'd like to maybe add maybe four more, but two would be great. Like I'd be happy with at least two. Now, each one of these is on a different um, you know timing and then the delay for the trapdoor release which then drops you down to collect the diamonds this has all been you know slowly refined with the different clicks there so let's give it a little shot and see where we're at right now I've swapped out the dirt for quartz so it's a little easier to identify and oh, 
<laughs> we need to fix that so you don't get hung up on that piece there. All right, let's do this one more time and here we go. Nope. Okay, let's do this one more time. <laughs> I can't believe this, what the world? There we go, okay. So you can see we can kind of maneuver, maneuver, and then hit the elytra, and then swoop down. I am loving this. I wish we had more room to free fall, but unfortunately we didn't really want to dig all the way down to bedrock, but I'm really liking that. And as I said, if we could add just a couple more dispensers, it would truly feel like you were flying through a diamond storm, which would be amazing. So, a few more tweaks and we've got this. I think I have got it, guys. This thing is going to be amazing. So let's drop into the maintenance bay one more time here. And I was able to fit in, let's see, how many did we get in? I think, let's see, four. Oh, we got six new dispensers in here and are all timed up, I think, really, really well. So I am incredibly hyped to show you this. Now, each dispenser is equipped with a decent amount of diamonds and let's try this out for the first time here oh man we're actually gonna get some diamonds here and release and i still need to fix that all right let's do that one more time <laughs> okay here we go here we go whoa okay oh we got a diamond block and activate the elytra Aha, what did we get what did we get i think we got a diamond block even though i had a giant stack of them already in my inventory and two diamonds that time so people will be able to capture diamonds all right that makes me super super happy i want to try this again this is actually really fun so we have 15 diamonds in the inventory and 41 on that one and oh we just missed that no <laughs> that is gonna be the fun of the game right there is avoiding death oh i love it going up for the third time here and uh, i still haven't fixed that trap door but i will i promise here okay here we go let's see if we can get that diamond block oh two diamond blocks nailed it no <laughs> No. Oh man, okay, we might want to adjust the timing on that just a smidge, but man, <laughs> this is actually fun even though I keep dying. So, what we need to work on now is the lower area where we do capture all of the diamonds that don't get picked up so we're not wasting things. So, I'm thinking about a giant hopper array here and then putting carpet on top of it to look like a target. So the red, the yellow, the blue, things along those lines, which I think will look absolutely awesome here. So, we're going to get that done in our next episode and there's something before we head out I want to show you. And that is the warehouse of mysteries and secrets and in our next episode we're going to build this this out and it's going to be themed towards say the Indiana Jones warehouse where they store the Ark and all of those types of things so let me know about all the mysteries here on Hermitcraft that I can go and get and bring here to study or to protect fellow hermits just like the thing from the shopping district also um, I need some ideas on what to build on these crates over here so tweet me some strange objects or things like that on Twitter and uh, we will build them here so it's five by five and we have two spots for these um, so yeah I think that'll be really cool let me know what I should build on those two platforms and of course inside of the warehouse of mysteries and secrets and eventually that'll lead to an airfield and it's going to be amazing I wish I could have finish this in this episode get the whole game ready to go but we'll finish it up in our next episode by building the drop zone and we did get that giant plane built looking super fancy in the air but until next time this has been good times with Skyrim and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you believe the video deserved rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life